Hey everyone, today we're going to look at Background Removal AI, which is shipping tomorrow, November 10th, along with Super Sharp AI and Upscale AI. You'll be able to find Background Removal AI up here in the Layers properties, along with Portrait Background Removal. You'll also find Background Removal AI. Let's click on that, and you see that Neo is going to start analyzing the image. Now I'll leave it real time so you see how quick it is on my computer. And there we go. Now I'm excited that it's recognizing objects and animals. That's great. Now this particular image, it is missing a bit of the wing here, but let's go ahead and remove it. And as you see, you know, it needs a bit of touching up. So we'll go into our refinement brush, click on object, and we're simply just going to define what's the object here just to assist the AI here. There's a little bit of faded areas there. So if we click out of here, we see that it's made a pretty decent selection. Need some touching up there. For this image, it need a little bit of work that literally took me a few seconds. Now, how does it fare with macro shots? Let's try this caterpillar picture that I took some time ago. Now, one of the things too, you gotta consider when you're using a background removal tool, you gotta ask yourself, why are you doing this? As I've said in previous videos, I don't really use the background removal tool in any software unless I'm doing a thumbnail for YouTube or something like that, right? In this situation, it did a really good job. It does need some touching out in between here and on the antennas here. But if we look at the edges, it's done a pretty decent job there, yeah. Let's try it on this image. And I know in the past with Mask AI, it had issues recognizing flowers. And just like Mask AI, you do have options for sky, flora, mountains, all the other selections. But we see here the initial selection looks pretty good. If you wanted to include the stems here and the leaves, you'd have to manually do it. But if we click flora, you see that it's going to recognize some of it, right? But the problem is it affects the initial object mask, which I don't like. So we're gonna take that off and just focus on the flower. So if we click on remove, there we go. So it needs a bit of touching up, just a tad over here, which again, would only take a few seconds. In this photo, we have a vehicle that we're gonna try out. Let's see how this pans out. Now if we look at the mask selection, it looks pretty accurate. There's a little piece here that we may have to manually correct, but for the most part looks good. We're gonna remove it. Yeah, does a pretty good job. Again, edges are pretty decent. I mean, it could use some cleanup. It's definitely not perfect, but very acceptable. Oh, hello there. And uh, <laughs> yeah, other than this bottom area here, that we need to correct, not bad, not bad at all. And of course, I've got to try it on people. So we're going to go ahead and remove the background from this picture of April, which I'm sure many of you have seen. So here we see the selection. If we remove it, I notice it's missed a bit of the hair, not a big deal for the most part. Again, does a really decent job. A little bit here between the fingers, not a big deal. It's definitely acceptable. Really good job. Now, how does it fare with a bit more of a complicated background? Let's try it on this image. Again, selection looks very good. Yeah, really decent job. Again, a little bit on the edges here, which can be adjusted with the refinement brush. Now, in terms of complicated hair situations, I've tested this before with the portrait background removal and it left a lot of the background. So let's try it with this. And to be honest, I don't expect much, but then again, as I showed in a previous video, even for an image like this, Canva is able to remove a lot of the background in these difficult situations. But as we see here, no, it's still kind of the same. So if we click on remove, you're going to see it's going to leave a lot of the in-between hairs. And this is actually worse than the standard portrait background AI. This was also a problematic image for portrait background removal AI. And you see it's completely missed a lot of the hair here. If we click on remove, let's do that. I have a background layer here so we can see. And yeah, so you would definitely have to use the refinement tools and it may be more 
work than what it's actually worth doing. But yeah, for these images, not so great. So according to Skylim, the background removal AI is built differently or developed differently than the portrait background removal or mask AI. Because my question was, why not just include this in portrait background removal AI, like just remove the portrait part and have one cohesive background removal AI, right? Makes sense. But according to them, it's developed differently. And we can see that here. So first let's remove the background from this image. And as we see the mass selection, you see that it's gonna miss the wing here. We're gonna click remove. It's also gonna miss a little bit underneath. But again, obviously with the refinement brushes, we can fix this pretty quickly. I'm gonna revert this back, but this time we're gonna use portrait background removal. And you're gonna notice something a little different. So this time it picks up this wing, a piece of the wing here, but we'd have to fill in the mask here and here. Not a huge deal, totally fixable. So I wanted to show you this example just to kind of emphasize that point that for whatever reason, they're both developed differently. I don't have the official reason from Skylum, but I was told I would get that answer. But it's really just food for thought because I know a lot of you are thinking the same. As always, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Do you find this a useful tool? Do you see yourself using it? I really like that it recognizes objects and animals. That's a big step up. But as previously mentioned, why not just make it one background removal tool? Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.